Greetings, my friend. It is Manny Vanannium, Siva Supermanium, Station Master of West Green again. Just kidding, that's only my alter ego, Mr. Siva Supermanium. <laughs> so, God, it's bad when I laugh at my own jokes. Hey, check what I got. I've got to tell you this. I've got to show you this. I went to San Francisco recently. I bought myself one of these from a cable car museum, a tram bell. Nice, isn't it, eh? I'm going to put that on a bit of wood. But anyway, I haven't. I'm not here to tell you about that. I was just at home watching something on YouTube and all of a sudden the doorbell rang. You've got to see my doorbell. You've got to see what... See, got to see what I knew. See, Ruby? Ru? Ruby? Not looking at me, are you? Watch this. Come on, Ru. What happens when the doorbell goes, Ru? What happens when the doorbell rings? You want to know what happens when the doorbell rings? Hang on, I'll tell you. Hang on. Ruby? What happens when the doorbell rings? Shall I ring the doorbell? Run here. You rotten nut. Who's that? Is it a Mormon? Jehovah's Witnesses? Car salesman? Politician? Bite them all. Ruby, can you stop? I've stopped. Anyway, so only, only this Monday, and it was a week, a week ago, last Wednesday, Wednesday week, so what's that? Anyway, this arrived. I feel like it's my birthday. <laughs> Bought myself a birthday present. Oh, I feel like bee. These are wheels. These are Slater's wheels. And this, I haven't opened it yet. This is one quality Jim McGowan uh, J15 locomotive kit. Let's open it. Never opened it, see? This is the first time. I knew this would come in useful. I'll open it. So far, so oh, so far, so good. Tender wheels, three of. Driving wheels, three of. So far, so good. Let's open this thing. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I'll get it out now. Look at that. Okay, this will be a bit of a kit review. I'm actually going to video this and uh, do a build on YouTube and whatnot, as you do. So let's 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 have a look. First of all, what can I say? A lovely box, smashing in it. Actually, I was just thinking, I've built some loco kits when I won't mention it, but I built an Ivet C1 Atlantic. I won't mention who made it. But what I can say, it had a lovely box. Yeah, it did. Seriously, the box was lovely. Say no more. Let's take the lid off. 335 knicker. Blimey, Jim, that's daylight robbery, isn't it? <laughs> no, Jim's a good man. There we go. Has my customer copy. Now, one thing I can say, I've built a Jim McGowan kit before. Do you want to see it? I'll show you. Hold on. Okay, this is my J50. This was a this is a connoisseur kit, and I can tell you now, it come a lovely box. It come in a lovely box too. But I'd have to say, it's the best kit I've ever built. Easiest instructions. It was an absolute joy to build. Um, Idiot-proof instructions. Great parts. And uh, I remember when I rang up, I spoke to Jim. We spoke for about an hour. And Jim explained to me his philosophy. He said, Steve, I'm a simple man. I don't believe in loads of instructions. I believe, because he was a, apparently he was an electrician at some time. So he works off diagrams, pictures, right? So that's his philosophy. And sure enough, oh, catalog. Oh, I've got a, he sent me a catalog. I can drool over. All right, so there's a catalog. Comes with the, uh, I think this is the instructions, I suppose so. Well, that's the, uh, let's have a look. That's the tender. Hold on. So I'm doing this one-handed. Okay, now, this is why, sorry, it is one-handed. But everything is 
Put this way, every, every part is identifiable. Sometimes they're photocopied in some of these instructions. Bits of squiggly bit of this. But here, you can see everything. Hey, look, this is what I like. The frets, every part is numbered. Every part. So it doesn't say part 78 uh, gizmo, but you've got no idea what it looks like. And sadly, so many kit manufacturers simply don't get it. This will be a joy. Hang on, I've got to put it down, because as I said, I'm trying to do it one-handed. So as you can see, they look like Airfix instructions. And that is not a criticism, that is actually a compliment. Because, oh, now my point has come out. See, I don't de-bloop my videos. I, it, what you see is what you get with me. Hold on. So let me give you an idea. There's an exploded diagram. The base, guess what? That's part one. Jim, why did you make it so easy? So there's part one. Then you put in two, three, four. Uh, I don't know where five is, but anyway, you get the idea. And of course, it's up there. Oh, five. Besides, six, seven. That's too easy, Jim. I've got to complain. <laughs> Why couldn't you have just left numbers on it and tell me it's a gizmo and find it? No, that's that's why his kits are the best. And of course, it's all numbered on the frets, wherever they are. You can't go wrong. Well, you can if you can't solder and stuff like that, but that's another issue. If you've got basic skills, you can build it. Here's the uh, instructions for the locomotive. And again, everything's numbered in its numeric order. Let's see if I can find the fret diagram. Photo, so you see what everything looks like. Coupling rods, how to put those together. All these, even if you don't know what they're called, they'll be numbered on the fret. I'm just not too certain, because I've only opened this first. Maybe the frets are in the other book. Probably it's worth buying this kit just for the book. I think they're in here, hold on. So this is what I see here, it was in this other book. These are the frets, with all parts numbered. So if you're looking for a part in there, one, two, you just come in and pull them off. No doubt what they are. Gotta love that. Anyway, let's put that down and take out the contents of the box, see what's in there. So, I've got some gloves here, because, blimey Jim, you just sent me paper. No, it's only joking. Let's have a look, see, have a look what's in here. Okay, now, obviously I haven't been through this yet, but, there will be an inventory in here of all the parts. Every single nut, bolt, part. Which means that even if I don't want to build this now, I can check it all off because, let's face it, <coughs> Jim could have a bad hair day and leave something out. I mean, I'm not saying he does. I don't think he would. But you could do it. and At least you know what's missing. Uh, rubber band? No. Okay, so what we've got here, and I won't open it, that's the boiler. And... It's been pre-rolled, which is nice. You obviously, Jim's obviously got a rolling mill. There are a pack of miscellaneous items, bearings, pickup wire, that sort of stuff. These are the tender flares, which are cast, which is a good idea. There is buffers, uh, different knobs, uh, what do they call them? Vac pipes, steam pipes, Westinghouse pipes. Here we've got various white metal castings for the tenders, uh, for the tender. There is axle boxes, whole host of stuff. The back head. There's a couple of chimneys for, for different variants. Ah, smoke box door, dome. Uh, Two chimneys in there. I think the kit comes with three. Now, I'm quite surprised by this. I've never seen this in a kit. How good is that? 
It even comes with a white metal driver and fireman. Normally you don't get any of that, so that is a really nice touch. Love it. Never seen that in a kit before. I'm going to open up the frets, and if I touch these, this is what the gloves are for, because of um, acid on your hands, and if you leave it, you get sort of fingerprints that any copper will be, uh, would love to see if they wanted to nick you for something. Hold on. So here's the frets. This is for the, uh, obviously the loco. That big gap there, that's the boiler, which is rolled. So that's good. Spectacle plate, all sorts of stuff. That's the uh, that's the foot plate with fold up splashes. So everything's there. Parts of the uh, parts of that's part of the tender body. Cab sides are all there. That's really nice. Very nice. Now moving on from the uh, loco and tender body. Uh, Yes, there's some nickel silver frets. Uh, I've got my gloves off because um, once I open them up, I don't, I'm not going to touch them. Uh, but as you can see, what have we got here? We've got so the two or three different size spacers uh, because there's one for normal fine scale. There'll be one for S7 because you have wider spacers. But anyway, there's different size spacers. Uh, there's a fold-up motor bracket, which takes an 1830, Mashima 1833 motor, plus one of Jim's uh, worm gears and pinions. I've got one of those anyway. But I probably won't use that. I'll probably use a, uh, an ABC Maxon mini box or something similar. Um, cab roof. What else have we got? Uh, See, there's the uh, frames for the uh, loco frames. That's the uh, tender frames. Parts for the, there's all sorts of parts here. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the, sorry, that's the outside. That's the uh, inside of the um, uh, tender, what folds up and takes the wheels. Coupling rods. The only thing Jim doesn't do, and it's probably not really that important, he doesn't, prov he doesn't put in half etches if you want to put horn blocks in I'll probably cut those out myself so you're normally just building rigid but obviously that's that's something you need to think of as I said look brilliant bit of kit literally bit of kit uh, then in the description I'll leave Jim's web uh, uh, address um, yeah really really good kits now there's one other job to do. I've done part of this already. Got that off there. Very important, this. Lucky it's winter time here, isn't it, eh? In Sydney, Australia. Hold on, got to put some more wood on the fire. Hold on. So, just put another bit of wood. There you go. I could put it in the recycle bin, but you know, my wife often looks through the recycle bin because I put all the junk mail, she goes and fishes it out to see, you know, like Aldi catalogues and stuff like that. All that sort of stuff. Pretty Aldi don't sell loco kits, innit? Anyway, come on guys, wake up. You must know why I'm doing this. It's called burning the evidence. Because if she sees this, she'll think, what have you bought? And it's my money, but it's like, what do you want another loco for? God bless her. Ruby, and good thing is, the real good thing, Ruby, my mate Ruby. Yes, I'm a very beautiful dog. She doesn't tell any lies. You're not going to tell mum about this loco kit, are you? Hey? You're my mate. You bark when the postman gets me here. He would have dumped it on the footpath, no doubt. No, I had to sign for it, so that was good. Um, yeah, so look at that. I just hide the kit. She'll think it's one I've had for years. <laughs> <laughs> So I've already burnt the box before for the, uh, sorry Jim, I was going to send it back to you, but I thought I'd better burn it, because that way I don't get in trouble. Us blokes, we get in trouble. Ruby wants me to throw the ball now. All right, see you later.